Afternoon, evening people. Um, it's been a while since I put an update on actually because it's been boiling hot, I haven't been doing much work and also um, I just haven't really found the time to film. I've been trying to get as much decking down as possible because I knew it was going to be really hot this weekend and that Corin and the kids wanted to sunbathe. So I've made quite a lot of progress since the last video in that I've finished all the framing. I don't think I actually showed you last time the upper level. Just make sure I don't fall over. Um, so now the upper level is in place, um, that's all ready, and it's boxed out for the, the picture frame around the outside as well. Um, and then all the posts are in for that. I did around the jacuzzi, I think I showed you that. Um, yeah, so then the next thing that I did, I'll just make sure I don't fall over here, is I put a beam along the in, uh, a, a plank along the inside just to get an idea of where it was going to be, and then I continued it along. So that I got my first bit of decking and then I went this way every time I hit a post I just skip two boards left enough space to put two new boards in so I'll just do them later <laughs> um, and then I continued along to there so that we had enough space for one bed there one bed there and one bed here and I've been basically continuing that um, today so what we're doing is I'm just leaving it to overhang for now and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off at this line here Actually, no, it's probably going to be more like in the middle of this line here. And then there'll be two boards that go that way um, to do the picture frame. So you basically just snap a chalk line and then use the circular saw on the track, which I've got, to take a perfectly straight line along later. Um, these ones, I just need to cut boards that are like that length to go in there. Now, because the deck is so long, what I've done is I've split it into three sections. So I've got the first section... And then I've got a board that goes that way, like a divider board. And that's on like a, its own little section. And then there'll be another section, which will go along here. And that'll come to the edge of here, where the jacuzzi's going to be. And then there'll be a board that runs that way around the jacuzzi. So it'll look quite natural that it sort of splits there. And there, and then in the middle, we've got another full length board. So it's about 4.8 meters, and that's the length of the boards that I ended up getting. Um, I didn't know what I was going to get until they came, so I couldn't really plan this bit. Um, so tomorrow, I'm just going to continue in the evening only because it's too hot during the days. Um, I'm going to continue boarding along to the house. Um, and what I'm doing is every fa every four boards, um, I'm taking a measurement of the four boards to make sure they're all straight. And then also I'm getting Karen <laughs> to measure up to the house. Um, and as we stand at the moment, this side is 130, 236 centimetres from the house. The other side is 235 and a half and the middle is 235. So it just means I need to keep the middle tight and slacken this edge off a little bit so that by the time it gets there, it's parallel with the house. And the reason that is, is because the house is not actually parallel with the pool. So I had to um, make some adjustments basically. So... Hopefully in the next few days I'll get that bit finished and then I'll start to do this bit which will be a bit easier because there's not going to be any cuts it'll just be like putting the boards down straight. I'm going to try and make sure that they all line up with the boards that go on the other side so that'll look nice I think. Um, oh, I've just realised I've left a little green thing on the end of this one. It's a bummer. It's a little thing. Anyway, I'll sort that out tomorrow. Um, and then once I've done this section then I can do the upper bit. Um, once I've finished this section, I might do a little bit over there just so I can get the rails on and build the pool roof and then I'll put the pool roof on so that it covers the pool and don't get as much muck in it. So yeah, making lots of progress. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> one other thing that I just forgot to show you is that I'm um, drilling, I'm screwing all these in with um, screws from the sides. So I'll show you a look. So the screw hole goes like in the side like that so that when you get to the next board you can barely see the screws so if you look down there's basically no screws showing on the surface so it means that when you get out the pool there's no like little rough edges where the screws have gone in there was like splinters where you can get a splinter in your foot so just a little extra thing to show you also means it takes twice as long to put all the screws in but hope you're worth it